today. I'm going to do a healthy shake, aloe vera shake. It's going to be a superfoods because we're gonna use spinach. Spinach is gonna make it a superfood, see? All right, so what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need your aloe. Now see, when I cut my aloe, I usually put it in a bag, okay? So what we're gonna do is, now remember, aloe is, has 300, I got the, right here, 300 nutrients at least. And um, so it's absolutely good. It's God's gift to us. It's absolutely good for you, okay? Uh, I'm going to read a few of the nutrients it has. It has uh, 20 of the required amino acids. And seven of them are essential acids, okay? And amino acid uh, builds uh, your uh, it's a basic building block of proteins, in production of muscle tissue and so forth so this is this is very very good and yes it has vitamins it has vitamins a c e b and b12 okay and it also has folic acid okay so uh the, you know we we are required to have as uh, uh vitamins and i even if i don't because, you know, the food that we eat nowadays, we don't get the vitamins that we need. And so the only thing I have to eat with my, um, take with my uh, aloe shake is good vitamins. I, I take good vitamins, of course. But this has good, uh, vitamins in it also. It has good vitamins also in it, okay? Now, to get the, to get the, uh, the potency you need, you need to eat it all. All of it is good. And remember, you can't OD on it, and it has no side effects. It's God's gift to us. It's our healing plant God, God gave to, to mankind, okay? All right? Okay? So, you can cut it up. I washed it already and put it in the bag. So, you, you can cut it up, look, just like so. Cut, cut the whole thing. Now, sometimes I, I, I don't take, I, 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 I use a gel. But see, the, the gel has a lot of water in it, see, naturally. And so you don't get as much. When you first start, I suggest to uh, use the whole thing. Because the whole thing, you get at least 300 nutrients that you need, your body needs. Okay? All right? And then, so the next thing you're going to need is, you're going to need a... fourth of a cup of honey. Now, uh, you can put honey to your taste, but you know honey's good. Remember Jesus talked about honey? God talks about honey. He told them that they're going to go into the land that flows with milk and honey. So honey is good for you. This is two cups of orange juice, okay? Now, you can buy everything that you need uh, frozen, frozen packages except bananas. So all you need is one banana. And see, you don't need a lot. Now, I put a, a, almost a whole leaf in there, but you could use a half a leaf and you still, to, you, you still will be good. You'll be good to go, okay? And, and, and um, the, the, the key to this shake is consistency. That's what the key is, you know? Okay? And this is a half of a cup of pineapple, okay? All right? Now, you can get the pineapple um, frozen. Now, this was canned pineapple because that's what I had in my, in my cupboard. But you can get it frozen. You can get all this frozen, and um, it lasts longer when you get it frozen because you put it in your freezer, right? And you're going to need a half a cup. Now, this is, see, this is yogurt, okay? So you're going to need a half a cup of yogurt. Okay, let's, let's fill up our half a cup of yogurt. 
Okay. Okay. And uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a cup of strawberries. Now you can get the strawberries also frozen. Okay. I just got the whole strawberries because, you know, in California, they um, they always have strawberries. We are, we are we are strawberry state, so you can get them for cheap. But you can buy them frozen in a package. Okay, it's, they just as good. All right, you need a whole cup of strawberries, okay? Okay, and you're gonna need a cup of spinach. Now this is what makes it a superfood, is the spinach, okay? All right. And you're gonna need your ice. The ice is for the smoothie, okay? Aloe has um, enzymes, uh, eight essential enzymes that we need, your body needs. Aloe has that in it. Aloe has uh, 16 minerals. 16 minerals in aloe, okay? Um, including aluminum, magnesium, iron, copper, potassium, zinc. Just, just uh, about eight of them, but it's, it's, it's 16 all together, okay? All right? It's just, it's just, it's just great, really, it's, I cannot express to you and explain to you how, how good it is for our bodies. It's very good for, for your body, okay? But listen, taking one time every now and then is not gonna do, you gotta be consistent, okay? And then when you get my age, which I'm, uh, 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 my birthday, I was 77, your body will thank you. Okay, now let's blend it up. Uh, buy some of my uh, books, my seasoning, okay, and my aprons so that I can take my show, cooking show on the road. I want to be a traveling cooking show. I want to take it on the road and take it overseas, take it in a lot of the uh, uh, cities in America, and I need your help. So will you support me by buying my you can go to YouTube, or you can go to PayPal, uh, cause either either or you'll see my uh, link, and you can uh, order, or you can just donate to me to help me, uh, because I I want to uh, be at a hundred thousand by the time the summer is over, a hundred thousand subscribers. So I got about eighteen thousand more to go, but we can do it. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. I know it, I have faith in you. I have faith in you, I have faith in you. We're gonna go to Hawaii, we're gonna go to Caribbean, we wanna go to Jamaica, we wanna, we wanna uh, go to Mexico. We wanna learn all those different cuisines so that we can come and teach it to you on Grandma Dothas Kitchen. Go to GrandmaDothasKitchen.com and place your order, I'll be looking for it. You can also donate through PayPal so Grandma Dothas Show can hit the road. We want to hit the road, Jack. <laughs> Welcome to Grandma Dothas Tea Time. 
It's tea time with Grandma Doc. With great love and respect, I greet you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace today. The peace that passes all understanding, I decree it to be so. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. We are still talking about um, peace principles. We're talking about how to enjoy peace every day of our lives, how to overcome fear. Okay, one of our greatest problems is fear. And remember, fear and faith can't occupy the same space. If you're having fear in your life, whatever reason, for whatever reason, and some people want to justify their fear, but there's no justification for fear. Because Jesus has set us free from fear 2,000 years ago. And that's why I wrote this book, Priest Principles. Because you don't have to live with worry and fear. And you can't, this book, this book talks about how to appropriate the peace of God in our lives every single day. And we can do that. God would not tell us to do something that we cannot do. We, but what happens to me and you, we're lazy. We want God to do everything. God has done, what. listen, God died on the cross for us. He, he has done his part. Now it's up to us. And nobody can have, have peace. and or Nobody can help, or, or give you peace except the Lord Jesus Christ. And you got to do some work. Yes, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you some time. And it's, it's a time to connect with your maker. Time to connect with your creator. That's the way you, we're going to have peace. There's no other way. There's no other way. Can't nobody pray peace into you. It's just like food. Those are some things you have to do for yourself. And this is what you have to uh, make up your mind that you, you matter, that you're worth it, and that you're going to allow the peace of God to rule in your heart. This is May 7th, okay? All right? This is a 365-day journal for all of... And then, listen, next year you can start all over again, okay? Because... It's, um, I want you to get it down in your spirit. I, in your, when you get it, I want you to know it for yourself. Get it down in your spirit. So 2019, and you can even use it. Uh, this is all for 2,360, uh, one for every day. And in the, in the word of God, there is fear not 365 times. Fear not is in the, in, in, in the word of God. That's how important it is that God wants us to not to fear. Because fear and faith can't occupy the same space. Okay? All right? Okay, this, it says, The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Okay? That's true. All right? Um, Psalms 29, 11 says, The word of the Lord will thrust you to the level of the position where God wants you to want to place you, and also he will give you peace. All right, okay? God wants you to have peace, and he paid the price. He has already paid the price for you to have peace, and every all of us got a little bit of peace, a little seed of peace in us. When we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we, that peace, it, 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 it gets a little bigger, but still we have to grow it. It has to be grown. It's just like a plant. It has to grow. It can grow. It's laying inside of you. It's laying dormant, okay? Um, it is your God-given right. Peace is. Peace is your God-given right, okay? What you going to do about it, all right? You must believe it, accept it, and live it. And you, you gotta live like it, like it. You gotta you gotta talk like it, act like it, think like it. When the when the enemy plants doubt and fear in your mind, you got to kick it out. You you can do that. Oh no, I'm not gonna buy that. No, 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 no. I know. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. You got to do something. That's what you do. That's your job to do that. Okay? 
All right, kick it out and start thinking about what God has done for you. You know what I mean? All right, okay? Uh, it is your God-given right. You must believe it, accept it, and uh, live like it. Peace is yours. It's up to you it's what you want to do about it. Okay? All right? Uh, this is the promise from God. God has given us his word. His word says that peace is ours and peace can be ours, but we have to do what we have to do. All right? God is not going to force us. Remember that because a lot of us feel that, well, if God wants me to have it, he can just force it on me. No, he's not going to do that. That's, that's against his nature because he's given every one of us uh, freedom of choice. And if he makes us robots, we don't have no choice. So you see, he don't want he want he wants you to choose. And if you choose, he will help you. He's there for you. Even though, yeah, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the, you don't have to fear because the Lord is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And you got to believe that, you got to speak it, you got to say it, and you got to act like it. And then you will see it come to pass in your life. But it's not going to drop into your lap. Yes, it's going to cost you some time, and it's going to cost you being able to know what to say and how to say it and what to speak and how to speak. And can't nobody speak for you. God ain't got no grandkids. He ain't got no nieces and nephews. He only got children, okay? All right? We're all God's creation, but we're not all God's children. And when we become God's born, when we become born again, we become God's children, and that's another uh, we it, we get benefits. God loves all of us. He loves all of his creation the same. But he, we get benefits. We have benefits just like if you get an insurance policy, you have benefits by because you have that policy. Well, but when you become born again, you have benefits. You have benefits from, 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 from God because when you get born again, the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in you. And then he helps you, but you got to do your part. You got to feed it. And the way you feed it is your prayer life and your reading your word. You cannot have a strong uh, uh, relationship with God without a strong prayer life and uh, reading the word. More Bible, uh, you know, you, you, you know, the more you're able to speak the word because the enemy is not going to leave you alone. Remember that. Remember what the enemy did to Adam and Eve? You are not, no, you are not greater than they are. They, they fellowship with God every day at the cool of the day. But yet, the enemy tricked them. The enemy is still around. There's no new stuff. The enemy is still tricking people all day, every day. So we have to be able to stand our ground and say, no, 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 no. I'm not going to buy that. I don't believe that because the word of God says something different. And you got to know the word of God in order to speak the word of God back to the enemy. Okay? All right? Thank you so much for... Tuning in to Grandma Dodgers Tea Time with with I I'm grateful I'm honored I don't take it for granted that you allow me to come into your homes I thank you for it okay all right see you next time and don't forget this is peace principles and listen this is a great investment because this has peace scriptures for 365 days all right and you don't have to read it every day just read read each day because each day is numbered okay all right thank you so much god bless you and it's 25 dollars and it's at um dothiskitchen.com dothiskitchen.com all right I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting to hear from you.
It should be well mixed. <sighs> look at it, look at it, look at it. Yeah, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, if it's too, if it's too uh, bitter for you, just use half. Just use a half a piece. It's, 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 it, 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 it'll still work. You don't have to use a lot. It'll still work. Okay, it works. I'm a living witness. It works. Yes. Yes. Look at aloe superfood smoothie. And you can make it yourself and you could you could you can't OD on it and you can drink as much as you want. And it, uh, it, the, if you're using the whole thing, you only need a little piece if, if you first starting off because you, may, you have to acquire a taste for it. But then you can change up. You don't have to use the same thing. It's so many different ways that you can use it and, and, and it still works. Okay? All right. So try it and let me know how you like it. And I'll be making others later for you so that you can get an idea of a variety of ways to make your shakes. All right? To your good health. 